Yeah, is she addicted to the manic? Yeah. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a bikini tutorial. I made this bikini but I'll put a photo here and I'm just gonna teach you how I made this bikini. Obviously you can get any material you want to start a bikini but I thought it would be really cool and a nice little challenge if I used one of my old volleyball jerseys. I thought it would be a great idea just to recycle the material because I'm not going to wear my jerseys anymore because I don't play volleyball. I just made a simple triangle top and I added some extra detail by having the straps be red and white. Same with the bottoms. These are very cheeky, but I'm just going to tell you how you can make the perfect pair of bottoms and the same as the top. The first step I did was find one of my ideal bikinis. I got this blue tie-dye bikini from Zaffle that I featured in my bikini haul, which I will link on the top if you want to go watch that. I will leave all the measurements that I used down below in the description bar, but I will also leave them on the screen for that portion of the video. So to begin, all you need is a bikini that you find suitable for your body. I got this kit, which comes with a rotary board, a clear ruler, and a rotary cutter. These were all from Joann's, I believe. I got it for Christmas in my Christmas haul. You can see that. And this is a perfect board to use for all of my sewing needs. And then I use this ruler, which I find better than a regular ruler because it's clear and I can measure the thickness also when I'm just like slicing. This rotary cutter is perfect, it has like a little safety on it. The first step that I did was I grabbed my jersey and I sliced open the side to make it one flat sheet of fabric. I also sliced up through the arm on the seam so that it was a perfect flat sheet. I laid out my bikini and then I used my rotary cutter to cut along the bikini and also a tip is to cut an extra inch away from the bikini so you have extra seam allowance when you are sewing. I didn't necessarily make that a big priority when I was making my bikini which is why it is extra tiny. And then I just cut all the way along the edges of the bikini to have the perfect bottom. When you're cutting your bikini, you have to cut the outer and the inner layer of fabric. You're going to want to double your material that you're cutting out. As you can see in the video, that I cut out the bikini once in one long strip. And then I cut a second piece of fabric, which was I cut the top portion of the bikini and then the bottom portion separately because you can sew it together when you're done. And then as you can see, my next step is that I just pinned the bikini together. I put the bikini on top just to have a perfect reference to put the pins right where the bikini lines up with my fabric. my sewing machine and I use a zigzag stitch. I try to make it a bigger zigzag stitch than just the smaller one. I sewed all the way across the edges of my bikini but then I left the corners available so that I can add the straps so you can see that I'm sewing all the way across but lifting up the needle when it comes to the corners. The next step was to get my jersey and I used the sleeves for the straps right here. I had two different jerseys which I you don't see in the video but I had a red jersey and a white jersey so these straps 
I wanted them to be extra long and I wasn't able to find that fabric within like the shirt part so I used the sleeve and the sleeve was perfect. I used one inch by 18 and then you just pin the edges together so then you could sew that with a straight stitch and I sewed along my pins and then I just used a chopstick or a pen or just a safety pin to reverse it and make it a perfect strap. I did that four times for the bottoms. I had to get longer straps for the bikini top. So after sewing all of the edges together on the bikini bottoms and you leave the corners without stitching, you're going to insert your straps that you just made inside the bikini material and you're going to stick them inside and you're going to have just an inch sticking out of the bikini and you're going to sew that inch right on because you're going to want that to be reversed and so that the longer part comes out when you end up reversing it. I just reversed it through the bottom crotch area which is why I made it two pieces on the inner part rather than having it all one piece because it's harder to reverse but if you're a little bit more skilled at making bikinis I think that would be really good to have it two solid pieces instead of three that I had and you're gonna do the straps for all of all of your corners are gonna have the straps that you're gonna put inside the bikini and have an inch sticking out on all four parts and then you just reverse it and then the straps come out and you can tie them however you want make them however long you want if you don't want the 18 by one inch that's fine the top that goes around your neck is one inch by 18 as well and you want the part that goes around your chest to be a lot longer than your regular straps. Mine is about 40 inches but I would definitely make it a bit longer if you could do 60 inches by one inch that would be ideal because it would be cute if you could wrap it around your body around your waist a few times if not you just want extra fabric so that you can guarantee that it's going to fit around your bust. Next I made the top of the bikini. In the top I used a different bikini as a template. I used this yellow one that I got from Zaffle. It's a bit smaller on the chest. I recommend going with a bikini that's bigger on you so that you have extra seam allowance for when you sew it. So then you don't end up with a little bikini like this that barely fits your boobs. But that's okay because this is just my first one. I'm going to make more. So I use this yellow one and I cut around the edges. You should give yourself an inch of seam allowance so you cut an inch outside of your bikini template. And then I just pin the edges and I sewed it together. Of course you're going to avoid the corners of the bikini, the top and the sides so that you can add the straps in later. And when it is reversed and you're sewing it, you're going to get the straps that you just made and put it inside the corners and you're going to have the long part inside of the bikini that you just of the triangle that you just made. So then there's only an inch sticking out because when you reverse it, you're going to have the long part on the outside. That may sound confusing, but you can see it in the video. The last step is to sew along the bottom. You're going to want to do the very closest to the edge of the bottom of the triangle because then when you reverse it outwards, you're going to need to make another line so that you can add the strap in. You're going to make it sort of a tube and then you're going to get a safety pin and insert the strap into your tube that you just created right here along this edge. And you can make it round, you can make it flat, whatever you want. And so this is the bikini that I made. I added the straps to be adjustable on the edges, but you could also, you can make a different bikini by adding the strap to go inside of the fabric as well. I might be doing that one in my next tutorial. So then the bikini is just all the way around and there's no adjustable. It's just made with elastic. I didn't use any elastic on this bikini but I would recommend using the elastic on the straps just because it adds a extra support when you're wearing it just to guarantee that it's not gonna fall off. This is a great first attempt of a bikini and I think it's really cool to be able to reuse your material like an old jersey that you're not gonna wear because it is dry fit material which helps because when you're sweating it doesn't show the sweat so you know this is gonna be great in the water. There's also a lot more styles of bikinis that you can make but I just wanted a simple triangle cut with cheeky bottoms because these are the ones that I find most flattering on my body. I'm going to show you the try on portion of this video at the very end 
but this is the bikini that I made and I thought it would be really cool to do red and white I know it's kind of Christmassy themed or like a candy cane but I thought it would be cooler than just having all white because I did not tie dye this one <laughs> She a dick day, she a dick day To the manicures and coffee But don't say that, cause she ain't that No, she is more than she seem She a dick day, she a dick day To the manicures and coffee But don't say that, cause she ain't that No, she is more than she seem She a diva like my daughter Gotta have it, she all done up And if she see it, if she cop it she don't care if you don't and this is the bikini that I made. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial or found it a little bit helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and comment down below if you're going to make this bikini or if you think this is a cool style or anything you want to write, I'll comment back to you. And thank you so much for watching this video all the way up until now and I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs> More than she seem She a dick day, she a dick day To the manicures and coffee